Hey folks, we're back, and uh, we're still fighting the Sunken Seven. Now, Doctor here, he's got this heal, may heal wounds from himself or any other hero in the space for one investigation each. He's gonna be using any time. So he's going to heal, he has five, nine investigation. So he heals two from her, two from him, which is four, and two, which is six. So, he spends six investigation and everybody's healed. So it's her turn again, and let's see what she has to use to fight. She rolls a four, and she's going to use combat, and she only has one combat. Oh, well, she obviously has to use spirit. I'm sorry. Alright, ooh, she hit him two ice, and so she gets to roll an extra five dice for each hit. Three times. That's three hits. So we're going to put another wound there. We're at 15. Let's see two all right and now it gets to attack her One, two three four five six seven all right she took three hits and she just got killed so she is dead all right <clears throat> dr edwards here <clears throat> see what he has to roll he rolls a six so he has to use combat he only has two dice and he misses. And he got hit twice. So he takes two wounds. One, two. Alright, no witch hunter here. Alright, she gets to use combat. So she has two, three, four, six. And she hits them four times. That's pretty good. So that's another five. So we are now at 20. If we hit this thing one more time, we kill it. All right, but it gets to attack her. And she just got popped twice. So she takes two wounds and now it's our hero's turn. Now he's gonna spend three investigation and heal himself of one and heal her of two wounds. All right, now he goes and he has to use, but this time he has to use his cunning and he has three cunning. He hit once. Well, guess what? And let's see how many times he gets hit. Once, but that once is all we needed. And so if you see 5, 10, 15, 20, and plus 1 is 21, 7 times 3 is 21, so we killed the sunken 7. Well, you know, usually when you have a surprise showdown like that, it works very badly in your favor. I know last time I, I did something like that, I got my ass handed to me. But somehow this time, because I had good characters, I had just enough... I was able to parlay that and win. Now, I don't think I would have lasted maybe one or two more rounds because I think he would have died for the next round. But him being able to heal was great. Her being able to roll extra fight dice every time she hit was great. She just was terrible stats. And she had, you know, good enough weapons. So that was very good. All right. So we're still on a roll again, I guess, with Touch of Evil. Okay. So I'm sorry for this video being so short right here, but that was the Sunken Seven. As you can see, we got to there on the shadow shadow track. So, uh, actually, you know, it probably was a good thing we got that surprise showdown. If we hadn't, we probably wouldn't have made it because she still had to go to the shipwreck. She still had to go to the lighthouse. And that would have been, you know, ticking forever. All right, so I'll see you next time. We're going to play a touch of evil. Uh, next time when we play, we're going to have to use, of course, a different villain and different heroes. So this is Solo Gamer saying see you then and have fun.